put a French drain along the west side of my house a couple years back. Drains out that a ways to that bridge and goes down the dry creek into the pond. Then it also comes around this ways, goes down, goes behind my truck there. And right where those buckets are, I had a dry well. Never worked right. The dry well filled up very quick. It was a bad idea in the first place and nothing was really flowing. So where Ricky's sniffing around, um, that's the high point of the drain. And I cut that, I'm gonna put in a catch basin there. When, the, when it rains really hard, all of this ground fills in. I'll get six, seven, eight inches of, of water puddling here, and it's even gone into the house before. So that catch basin is gonna gather more of the water at this low point. Pipe is a high point, ground is a low point. Gather it there, takes more of the water that away, more of the water this away. I dug up the dry well and uh, filled in most of the ground already. Right where that is, that little outlet is, that's where it would connect to the dry well. That's about how big the dry well was. There's Ricky for scale. And uh, dug a trench along here. It's going to take all of that water from the French drain all the way down. This is a 50 foot line. And then it'll exit right here uh, into the yard. Got the pipe in. Check the grade. It's a good drop all the way down. And then it'll exit right there out into the yard. So that should work out well. Catch basin is all set up. Tested it out. It's ready to go. It's going to collect water there. Take half of it down that way. Take the other half through the French drain that's under the ground here. Loops around, becomes a solid pipe here. That's where the dry well was before. Need a couple bags of dirt to fill that up. And then again, solid pipe all the way down. Ended up being 45 feet. And then that's where it's gonna terminate. Finally, some good rain to test this out. Catch basin's doing its job, picking up the water coming from there, coming from there, and routing it away. And this is the low end. It comes all the way down from way up there downhill. And it's just literally pouring out, going down the yard, far away from the house. So I think it's a success. In the past, with this much rain, we've, we've got tornado warnings right now. All of these pavers would be underwater. And I would have water all the way inside that well house, into the inside of the house, because it's been coming down so hard. The other end of that catch basin runs along the yard here, right by this little bridge. It connects to my dry creek. This is basically a curtain drain that goes down to a dry pond. That's where it comes out. Just to put it into perspective, this is how much rain we've had. This whole pond is completely full and it's overflowing on the far end. There's normally no water in this pond. It is normally completely dry with gravel and river rock at the bottom. So you can see how much is coming out. Pond's emptying out, going all the way out to the other side of the yard into the farms across the field here. Look at that lightning. Crazy weather.